There he goes, into that drugstore. He's stepping off the scales. Weight, 248 pounds. Fortune, danger. Who is it? Yes, the Here Again Radio Project brings you another exciting episode of Dashiell Hammett's The Fat Man. Brought to you by Pepto Bismol. Folks, do you ever suffer from stomach upset or bloating? <laughs> Have digestive troubles ever kept you awake at night? <laughs> then you need soothing, gentle Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol special pink formula will pick you up and have you feeling in the pink again. So when stomach problems have you down, <laughs> get soothing, soothing pink Pepto Bismol and feel good again. And now, the Human Game Radio Project brings you Dashiell Hammett's latest and most fascinating character, the Fat Man, the hard-boiled, hard-hitting adventures of a criminologist who tips the scales at 248 pounds. Tonight's adventure, the 19th Earl. And now, here's the Fat Man. One of the worst things about being fat is feeling thin. Next to load, you carry around or something you never think about until you bump into a full length mirror, draw a penny into a drugstore scale. Even then, you don't feel fat. The whole time you're like, feel it is when you run into a beautiful woman. That's when the old collar kind of chokes you, and your hands are big and your legs are hard to cross. So I'd be glad you've got a busy job like mine. So I'll make you fine. What do you do for a living, Miss Evans? I'm a. I'm an actress. On the stage? When I'm working. Have you ever seen you? Well, not in New York. I, uh, um, haven't done anything here yet. Your daddy? No. No daddy at all. What keeps you in those gorgeous clothes? I have a private income. My father left me some money. Those beautiful pearls, too? Oh, oh, these aren't real. Aren't they? Let me see them. Don't you believe me? No. Why not? Because you're not a very good buy. What? Even experience wants to take a deep breath out of every lie they tell, but you've been pumping away like an iron lung. How dare you talk to me like that? Get out of here, Miss Evans. I won't take your case. You won't get it, you insufferable man. Come on, come on. Why? Keep yelling at me. There's someone outside the door. Oh, ah, uh, you overbearing, conceited pig. If I were a man, I'd give you the beating of your life. That's enough. Well, what are you doing out here, mister? Uh, nothing. I was just... Hey, come back to you! You son of a gun, I'll make it much harder for you when I catch you! We gotta stop your pump or do I have to die for you? Oh! Hey, hey. Not as slow as I look. Oh, you didn't have to tap me. Sorry, old man, that's my full football training. Can you get up? I don't know. There, there you are. Now maybe you'll tell me what you're doing outside my door. I was keeping an eye on this evidence. Hmm. That's an interesting pastime. Come on back to the office and tell us why. It's my job. I'm a private detective. Well, well, who hired you? Mrs. Stanton. Mrs. Jeffrey Stanton. The banker's wife? Yes. She wants a record of every move Miss Evans makes. Why? That's my business. Maybe Miss Evans has an interest in it. Miss Evans? Miss Evans, where are you? What's the matter? She's gone. Following this brief word from our sponsor. Good evening, friends. This is Jen McMillan with another brief series of scenes called Critical Moments in the Lives of People. The first scene is just before Jim's lunch hour in the office. It's 12 o'clock, Tom. How about lunch? Oh, sorry, old man. Take a look at this stuff on my desk. I doubt I'll be able to eat it all today. <laughs> on the street. Hey, Mary, how are you? I I have to run along. I have a lunch date in a restaurant. Hi, Bill. Mind if I join you? Oh, sorry, Jim. I'm expecting a friend to see you sometime. Why do people keep avoiding Jim? <laughs> He's young and friendly, yet you always see him eating a lonely, solitary lunch. He always seems to be alone. Why? 
because too often he fails to make a good impression, because he doesn't realize that every daily contact he has with another person may be a critical moment in both their lives. It's so important for all of us to play safe. And here's an easy, pleasant way to do just that. Simply use Life Boy Health Soap. Daily baths with Life Boy's rich, abundant lather protect you against <laughs> and get you extra clean. So be prepared for critical moments when you're, when you're with other people. Join the millions of fastidious men and women who make a Life Boy bath one of their daily habits. <laughs> And now, back to The Fat Man, starring Ryan Walter. This is WAGN, the Here Again Radio Project. Sevens, sevens, if you're in the room for the love of mine, open up. The Fat Man. Hello? Yes, open up, will you? Well, what's wrong? Plenty. Gotta talk to you like a Dutch uncle. Well, oh, wait a minute, you can't come in here. Shut up. Oh! You're a trouble, kid. I'm gonna find out just how much. I'll take your case. Have a got one? You will have. The cops will be swarming all over this place by tomorrow morning. What? Don't worry, things will be all right. Well, you didn't feel that way when you came in. When I came in, I never expected to find a string of pearls. Not one piece anyway. Mind if I take them? What for? I thought you trusted me. But you still haven't answered my question. I need these pearls to make the alibi stand up, Kathy. Don't forget, I'm working for you. The police aren't. Just a moment, Miss Evans. <laughs> Mrs. Stanton! Yes, I'll take that pearl, please. Look out, she's got a gun! Stay where you are, young lady. No! You can't make me! Stop! Remember, as the fat man says, no man's face and no man's 